Hey everybody, welcome to the show on this Thursday. It is 1230. You're watching live with Lee and Haley. I'm Haley Harmon alongside Lee Cruz. Thank you for being with us today. A little set change today because we're just mixing things up on a Thursday. Right, so we, we got we got some guests that are bringing a lot of stuff. We yeah. want to make sure they had room yeah, to move in. So yeah. um, hope everybody's having a great day. How are you today? I'm good. I'm feeling good. I'm wearing an outfit that was chosen for me. Now, surprisingly, it looks like something I would have picked out. Yes. And it fits perfectly. Yes. Who got it for you? Haley Herman did. Now, the reason was because, uh, and you'll see this at Derby. Yes. We were assigned a challenge. We were given $50 and told to go to Walmart and buy each other Derby outfits. Yes. Derby on a budget. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars and to this, look awesome. Also, I have a hat. I didn't wear the hat. She got yeah, me a hat. Yeah, I got you. Socks uh, yeah. that are very nice. And... Uh, it looks these, good. These pants, the jacket isn't doesn't come. The with jacket it. was yours. But the shirt yeah. and tie. I only had a fifty dollar limit. So yeah, I got socks, right. the pants, the shirt, tie. I got him a hat. Yeah, it's very I, nice. Yeah, yes. and it, it was just like it, this would be in my closet. I know. Actually, I thought of you when I saw it, and thought of you more than I thought. I came in this morning, and Lee had on almost the exact same shirt <laughs> yeah, I did. already. I, yeah, I did. My goodness. Okay, so. You've got to see the story. Yeah, we've got it coming up. It's going to air on Derby Day. We've got some really fun kind of Derby theme stories for you that day. So join us. Because what coverage. I chose for her was I wanted her to feel like this was a special event, which yes. Derby is. So I wanted her to look like a rock star on a $50 budget. Mm -hmm. And I knocked it out of the park. In some people's view. My view. It was. It, right. Uh, it's, I'll just say this. It's not what I was expecting. A lot of leg. But, man, the outfit, it is a <laughs> lot of leg. I, it's like Angelina Jolie at the Oscars. That yeah. year she had her leg out. That's yeah. how I felt. It was, But, anyway, it was I an interesting was outfit. So, thank you to Walmart. We had a really fun time with them. And, really, it is, you know, you don't have to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to go to an event like Certainly this. Certainly not with your outfit. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So, anyway, stay with us for that. Um, anything new with you since I saw you yesterday? Did you do no. anything fun? No. You? Mm. I ate last night at Louis Wine Dive in Lexington. Oh, that? that's, very that's good. Nice. Very, very good. Have you, if you haven't been there, go there and try their beignets. I didn't even know they did beignets. They do beignets. It was really good. Yeah. Really good. I haven't been there in a while, and I forget how delicious it is. So it was so good. Go to Louis Wine Dive if you haven't been. Okay. Check it out. Want to do some hot topics? All right. Let's roll let's that. Let's get to it. Hot topics. I saw this earlier. There's a Lexington woman that's been featured in a segment on Refinery 29, mm -hmm. R29. It's like um, told BuzzFeed or Reddit. They've got like about a million subscribers. Yeah, so yeah, it's exploded. Have you heard of it? Yes, I have. I have. Refinery 29. Anyway, it's a digital media entertainment company for young women like Haley. And in a segment called Last Look, we meet Miranda. She's a mortician at Millward, right here in Lexington. Yeah. It's not a job you think of with ladies, but no. she's doing it, and there's more women that are getting into this career. She says her initial fear of death led her to a career of embalming bodies. I'm a little familiar with this world. Uh huh. Yeah, because uh, my dad did this for a long time and, and, and maintained his license forever. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Uh -huh. So I kind of grew up around funeral homes when he was a part-time employee. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, one of my buddies owns a funeral home over in Nicholasville. Oh. And, and the thing is about most of these folks, they have a very wicked sense of humor. They're all they do. very they funny do. people. Yes. And that's yes. what I'm, I like about them. Yeah. Well, her story, it's been viewed 144,000 times. A ton of Crazy. people are watching this. Yeah, and she's right here in Lexington. So shout out to Miranda. You are awesome, sister. That's mm -hmm. cool. I always wonder when someone does that, how, they've got, how they got into that field, then, how they chose to be that. Then I dated a girl oh. whose dad owned a funeral home up in Ohio. A lot of connections and, here. And um, I remember one of the sort of, you know, father, future, boyfriend, son-in-law, whatever he thought I was going to be, yeah, which I didn't. You know, your interactions with him? Yeah. Okay. He took me in and he said, someday, son, this will be all yours. And there was a naked dead guy <gasps> laying there. There was a dead person in there and he took you in there? Yeah. <gasps> he was naked and dead oh my goodness that and he is... said someday this will be all yours and you said no it won't bye <laughs> we, we broke up shortly after. oh my gosh that is creepy <laughs> <laughs> and true i had a friend in college and we're still friends now she um her now husband at the time he used to own a business and they what they did was um their whole job was to transport 
yeah. dead bodies oh, yeah. from the sure. hospital to the funeral home. Yeah. So the hospital, when someone died, the hospital would call them. They pick it up, and take the funeral home, and several of their first couple of dates. They'd be on a date and he'd get a call, so they'd have to go, and she would ride with him right, with a yeah. dead body in the car. Yeah. And I'd be like, mm -hmm. "No, you got to get rid of this." Well, they're married now, and she's about to have her second baby. Things worked right, out. Well, and you never know. Them. You never know. So, Aaron, love you, sister. Mm -hmm. Okay, international pop icon Pink is going to be performing oh. in Lexington a week from today. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's for her beautiful Trauma World Tour. The concert is May 9th at Rep Arena. Since her debut, Pink has had seven studio albums, one greatest hits album, and 15 singles in the top 10 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. And she was just recently on the cover of the People, uh, Beautiful People issue. Mm. She was like the number one on the cover with um, her beautiful two children. She's married to uh, Carrie Hart. I think she's cool. Wasn't that Channing Tatum? I, I think Channing it was. Channing Tatum. It oh, is Channing Tatum. This, this is, I haven't seen this. This has been here recently. I, uh, I like pink. I do too. I do too. She's, she's definitely different than anybody That's else. That's right. She's just herself. She is just herself. Doesn't try to fit in. Yeah, she's got a unique sound. Most young artists try yeah. to. Yeah, and she does like all that whenever she performs, all that cool aerial work and stuff. Now that's getting a little old. You want her to mix it up? I want her to stop that. Stop that, Pink. Cirque du Soleil nonsense. Oh. Yeah. Well, well, Katie Couric says she was joking when she told the host of Watch What Happens Live that Matt Lauer's most annoying habit was constantly pinching her bottom. The comment was made while playing Plead the Fifth on the show back in 2012. She says it was a joke, but she's really sorry she made that joke because people misconstrued it later. I was joking. Okay. It was a total joke. In fact, when that started circulating, Andy, I was like, oh, my God. I was on Watch What Happens Live. Yeah. I was, and, and it was so antithetical to the nature of our relationship. I thought it would be funny. Right. Because it was so weird. Well, I laughed, too, and then people got on me for, oh, and look at him. No, no. Okay, so yeah, that 2012 appearance resurfaced, what she was just talking about, right after Lauer's, the news broke that he was fired from today over sexual harassment allegations and things like uh -huh. that, inappropriate sexual behavior. So, yeah, so she's speaking out. But this comes on the heels. Did you uh, hear Ann Curry's latest interview? She said she yeah, actually reported Matt Lauer for sexual harassment in 2012 on behalf of a Today Show staffer. She herself said she doesn't, didn't have anything with him. Mm -hmm. She said a, a young female staffer came to her and said, please help me, I'm afraid I'll lose my job if I say anything. Thing, will you go forward? And she said she did, and Curry now saying she had actually reported him once. So she wasn't totally shocked when all this happened, apparently. Wow. So. Hmm. Uncomfortable. Yeah. What's Matt doing N now? NBC. NBC. Let's all be there. We <laughs> well, are there. Yeah. People <laughs> are starting to make bets on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's upcoming royal wedding. They're betting on everything from the dress to the entertainment. Ever since the royal family announced their engagement, bets have been pouring into companies like Ladbrokes, William Hill, and Patty Power. Oh, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. They offer the chance for people to place money on the wedding day, weather, the guest list, and more. There's an Irish bookmaker, Patty Power, is taking bets on whether it will rain on the day of the royal wedding. Odds are 4 to 9, it won't, and 13 to 8, that it will. They also have a category about who will attend the wedding ceremony with bets on potential guests like Serena Williams, Elton John, Simon Cowell, Harry's ex girlfriend, Chelsea Davey. Wouldn't that be a thing? Really? <laughs> She's not going to show up. Man, I feel like they just got engaged. But yeah, they did have a relatively short engagement. The wedding's almost here, just a couple weeks Seems from like now. they've been engaged for decades. How does it to you? Yes. Does it feel that way? This thing continues to drag. Right. I forget, you hate love. I forgot about That's that. That's correct. He hates love. I That's hate true. when it's done by tyranny from a monarchy that pushes its boot of oppression right. on, on the taxpayer without representation. That's right. What I hate. They pushed Harry on Meghan. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. They they pushed him to marry a divorced no, mixed race American. No, I'm talking about. Listen, lady, I'm talking about that family that did it to America. Okay. That's I don't not, forget that. Okay. okay. Jennifer Lopez had a wardrobe <laughs> malfunction yesterday during her appearance on Ellen. The 48 year old, which I still can't believe, she looks amazing, decided to break into a dance routine. Oh yeah. When she started moving, she flashed her spanks to viewers across America. Take a look. Okay. Oh. Yeah, he, he gets up, he goes, Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> wow. Okay. He's like, oh my God, that is exactly it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> At least she acknowledged it, my Spanx. Who doesn't wear Spanx these days? I wear them all the time. I wear them. Lee wears them. Yeah.
Got to get that. That doesn't support. bother me at all. That's, you Jennifer know, Lopez when he spanks no one. Mm -mm, not no, at all. Sir. Yes, sister. Yes, bring it on. Yeah. Well, for 108 years, the Boy Scouts of America's flagship program has been known as the Boy Scouts, right? Well, with girls entering soon, the group says they'll be changing their name. It's like they've gotten married. Uh huh. Anyway, they're not going to be called Scouts BSA. And I got some initials that I could put in there for that. <laughs> that change takes effective next February. Scouts BSA will begin accepting girls next year. The program will largely be divided along gender lines with single-sex units pursuing the same types of activities. Somebody explain to me what happens to the Girl Scouts. Well, the Girl Scouts, they're not happy about this. They came out this week and said that they were shocked by this. Um, and that they're going to fight the name change because they still want to recruit girls. They said, basically, I guess that they're concerned that all the girls are going to go there. And, um, mm -hmm. yeah, so they're not happy about this. And they said they were not notified ahead of time that this change was happening. I think it's fine that they're letting girls in, but, yeah, you wonder what's going to happen to the Girl Scouts. Why? They got Girl Scouts. Why do we have to let girls in the Boy Scouts? I don't really know. Okay. I don't then. know. Well, you didn't think about it, did you? No. Bothers me. Hmm. Well, we got some tickets to give away. Yes, we do. And we're giving away four tickets to the Monster Jam Pit Party and four tickets to the show. The Monster Truck Show is going to be held Saturday, May 12th at Rupp Arena. Tweet us or send us a Facebook message with your name and why you deserve to win. We've had so many people enter already. Thank you for those entries. Today, we're going to announce a winner at the end of the show. Best of luck to you. Thanks, everybody, for entering. Good luck. And by the way, if we give you a thumbs up, that means we've got your message. Some That's people right. go, well, did I win? No, a thumbs up just means we got the yes, message. Yes, we so. got your entry and yeah, we've we'll entered call you if you've won. So yes. That's how it works. Yes. Well, coming up next, Mix Kentucky Derby and Cinco de Mayo together. What the heck is that? The best day of the year. You don't have to worry about deciding which cocktail to pick this Saturday because you can fit Cinco de Mayo and the Derby into one glass. Going to share